Hey everyone. So I love this prayer from my breviary. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. Just thought it was beautiful. Um, and today we we are um, so fortunate to pray with Sister Catherine Janes, um, who's with the Daughters of St. Paul. So excited to have her here. Um, and then today is, we ask for the intercession of St. John Francis Regis, who's the patron saint of lace makers. Who knew? <laughs> I see our Lord and our Lady opening up the gates of paradise for me. So just beautiful. Please pray for us. And then our intentions for today. Um, oh, here, sister. Um, do, do. From Heather for John as he continues on the path of healing and living with brain cancer. And for our family, as we manage through all the challenges a family endures while the sole provider fights cancer. So prayers for them. Good morning, sister. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Very good. <laughs> wonderful. Just I was wonderful. just, um, I was just um, um, stating our intentions for today. So okay. Um, from Lisa, for anyone discerning their vocation according to God's will, for holy spouses or religious guidance from the Holy Spirit. And then for Miss Bell, urgent prayers for a job interview success this week as I'm desperately seeking employment. So uh, for you as well, as Bell, that's, um, I know that's, that's difficult to, to wait. <laughs> um, and then for everyone here and their intentions, sister, is there anything specific you'd like to pray for? Um, I really would like to pray for those who are still suffering from having lost loved ones from COVID. Amen. Yeah, right. And did you want to lead or do you want me to lead? <clears throat> you can lead. That would be fine. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father's intentions, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, <clears throat> now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third glorious <clears throat> mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of <clears throat> grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And our last prayer is um, the St. Michael prayer. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, sister. Thank you. So, That's a powerful way to end the rosary. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it is. Yeah. I love the prayer. Um, so our first question, um, but with religious... We always ask about your experience with the rosary and kind of your vocation story, but I never know what order those are in your journey. So any, any, however you'd love to share, we'd, we'd love to hear. Oh, great. Um, well, we always said the rosary as a family when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. So the rosary was always a part of our life at that time. Um, right now, my favorite way to pray the rosary is the rosary of the seven sorrows. Yes. And I usually pray it at night. And frankly, I don't remember. I had a stroke, so my memory and my everything is not so keen. But I don't always remember the exact seven mysteries. But I, I start with the world, with people. And I, I call to mind a group of people who are suffering mm -hmm. somewhere in the world. And I connect it to um, an experience of Mary and her life that connects with that. And then I just pray for them through that mystery of the seven sorrows. And that has become one of my favorite ways to pray the rosary. Yeah. You, you know, that's so and, beautiful. Um, yeah. Because um, yesterday someone was mentioning that as well. So I'm like, okay, apparently we need to pray the seven sorrows for a because it's... <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So I entered actually when I was 15. Um, we had a high school at the time. So I entered, I just turned 15. I was a sophomore in high school. And, um, and I'd always wanted to be a nun. Always? And I remember just... 
Always, yeah. So when Sister Antoinette, um, she, she's in heaven now, but she came down from Philadelphia to, to Virginia, which is where I'm from, Falls Church. And um, she, I said to her, my mother dragged me along to meet these sisters, which, who I did not want to meet. And I just said, when she, you know, latched on to me like vocation, I said to her, oh, I, am, I want to be a cloister sister. I want to be a contemplative sister. And she said, oh, St. Pius X or 12th, he said that the active life is good and the contemplative life is good, but the combination of the two is the best. And like, the best was the magic word <laughs> because that's what I wanted was the best. And I thought I'd figured out the best. So God was just really playing a joke on me. Yes. He goes, the best is over here. It's a combination of the two. So I visited um, shortly thereafter and then I entered, but um, I was really um, drawn to the way that the community, like a good shepherd is really searching out um, the souls that are longing and, and um, looking for him in mm -hmm. many different ways and many different parts of their life. And um, I had a kind of a normal uh, beginning of religious life and I ended up with a stroke when I was a junior. And that kind of directed my life in new ways that were a bit unexpected, but. Wow. Yeah. 15. <laughs> so you um, how, did your parents, were your parents like, absolutely, did they encourage, do you have siblings who were, who joined the religious life as well, or? No, 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 they're both married, but, um, she's in the daughter's they, it, it's so funny, because, yeah, I was, it was really young, and especially for young people today, it's way too young, mm -hmm. but, um, and I said, okay, I'll do whatever my parents say, because I didn't, I was only 15, you know, and they came in and they said, we will support whatever you decide. And so I really had to think through it, but I, I'd always wanted to be a sister. So, um, yeah, so it was, you know, and then you gradually grow in your understanding of the religious life and discernment and making that final decision wasn't until I was 26. So I had plenty of time to think about it and pray about it and, experience it before I made that final perpetual profession but right oh yeah. that's just so profound so you had that grace yeah. and inspiration from a very young age like yeah yeah and I'm so glad because I just I, looking I'm 57 now so looking back on um you know I've I've had so many years of of being in God's house you yes. know and being at his service for other people in the world. And it's, it's so, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, yeah. I'm just in <laughs> awe. Cause um, I just, <laughs> that's, that's so amazing. Someone had a wonderful question. Um, can you explain the new direction from the stroke and how you surrender to that? Cause I think it, kind yeah. of, it paved I was, path for you. Yeah, I was a first year junior, so I would have been like 22, because I made profession at 21. Mm -hmm. And um, I went in for a foot operation and ended up having a stroke. And um, so, you know, I went from a 21 year old who was very smart and very articulate and had lots of dreams and could do whatever she wanted, mm -hmm. she had great health, to someone who couldn't even cut a piece of cheese. <laughs> oh couldn't remember purple things or read signs on the highway or anything. And um, so it was quite a, um, a journey. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, at first it was like, oh, this is God's will and I submit to it and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, after a while it was why me, you know, and right. just the whole journey of, um, you know, I remember being in chapel one day and, you know, I had been brought down in a wheelchair and put there and I had to stay till they took me away. And just on the bottom of my toes, this thing came out that just said, I hate you. And it's like, oh, my gosh, what was that? You know, and um, but it was just this this whole experience that I'm really grateful for now of just turmoil and turning things around in my whole life. You know, I was, we were a very religious family. Everything was very clear, straight. 
you know, understood and everything. But when the rubber hits the road, as you all know, as everybody knows, yes. um, then you really have to grapple with it. You have to wrestle with it. Um, just like Jacob had to wrestle with the angel. And, and the angel left him with, um, <clears throat> you know, he struck him in the hip socket, I think it was. And so we always limped after that. And sometimes through our wrestling, through something in our life, uh, we, we limp a bit mm -hmm. after that. But it was, but Jacob was really the father of the Israelites, you know, he was the beginning of that. And, um, and so I learned that in that wrestling, God still loves us right. and God still holds us. Mm -hmm. And, and even though I, I have things that I've lost, um, I struggled for like 12 years emotionally trying to get that all back under control. And eventually I was diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy, okay. <clears throat> which was another diagnosis, <laughs> but at least I was able to have medication and temporal lobe epilepsy is like um, an organic form of um, bipolar disorder. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so it's actually treated the same way as manic depression, the same medication and everything. So I ended up, and that started bringing things back together again mm -hmm. in my life after 12 years of, like, chaos. Right. And, um, but I'm, I'm, you know, for everything, every curse, it, it is also my blessing mm -hmm. because it directed me in a whole new way of praying, of, of struggling to how do you help another person believe, um, know, and touch God's absolute fidelity. It's like, you can't, I can say, look at this, I read this, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and they'll go, sure, can I have that book, you know, <laughs> or whatever. But it's like, I can only tell you, I can be absolutely certain that God is there for you and will bring you through this in some way mm -hmm. because he did it for me. Yes. And I know that the very, this is kind of funny, but I remember maybe I was 29 or something. And I was with my spiritual director and I said, well, why me? And he goes, well, who do you think you are? What do you mean? Why you? <laughs> <laughs> It was like, it was a perfect thing. It was like, yeah, what's my big deal here? Everybody suffers, you know. Yes. Um, but it, it took me on this journey of like, what is life with suffering? The suffering that comes and goes in everybody's life. And I ended up, um, I'm also a writer. Yes, I know. And I so I ended up writing um, Surviving Depression. I don't know if this is backwards. but It is, but um, we'll, we'll share oh, it's it okay. <laughs> Okay, surviving depression, a Catholic approach, uh, many years after that. And um, I also just started, along with this, I started a, a heart work program. And in it, I began to really um, look at ways of praying that help people and exercises that help people to come home to themselves. Because many times when we're suffering, we want to get away from it. <clears throat> or we don't want to sit with it. We mm -hmm. want to run off and do something or shop or look at the internet or whatever we do um, because we, we can't sit with that pain right. and that sorrow. And so, um, so a lot of those exercises, some of them ended up in surviving depression because it's one thing to read about depression. It's another thing to have someone almost take you by the hand mm -hmm. and walk you through um, things, tools and practices and the prayer forms that will actually help you um, get more, come home to yourself. You know, like mm -hmm. St. Augustine, um, oh my gosh, God's inside of me. And here I was looking for him everywhere else. Yes. And it's the same way when we're suffering with um, depression or um, an emotional struggle, a physical illness, um, a family illness, financial problems. They're just, I mean, I consider myself pretty sheltered compared to the struggles that married couples go through and mm -hmm. families go through and the, the struggles you have when you lose your job and they're through COVID and yes. everything else that's been going on. And, um, and then we can end up feeling down and sometimes not even realizing we're just carrying this weight because 
there is such a burden sometimes mm -hmm. in that struggle and reading about, oh, maybe I'm depressed, let me read about it. Um, that's fine and it can give you information, but what helps I find people is really like, how does our faith come into that whole journey? I almost feel like um, depression or some of these um, struggles that we have are kind of a vocation because they're a part of our life and they enrich our life. Um, we can see that enrichment eventually. Yes. Um, but, but it's like we can't get to that place without learning some things about ourselves, about even about the way our mind works mm -hmm. and how to, how to deal with that. It's like an unruly child, you know? Yes. And you don't just let them take over the entire family and the home and tear the place to pieces. <laughs> you, you, you don't do that, right? right. You, you say, okay, let's calm down. Let's sit on the sofa. Let's whatever. Because you don't want them to have great havoc, you know? Yes. And it's the same way with these simple practices. They, they kind of help you to get unruly emotions or unruly thoughts that are intruding into our, into our life and our prayer to sit them down on a sofa and sit them down next to Jesus, you know, and a whole process of praying and being with them and being with ourselves and um, incorporating the sacraments, you know, sometimes... Um, I know with emotional illness and depression, even going to the sacrament of confession can be very difficult yes. because mm -hmm. things are a little confused. Um, and we can feel things very strongly and mm -hmm. things can seem to be um, about ourselves worse than they really are. And maybe you don't realize that some things are just part of the picture now. <laughs> And we don't need to beat ourselves up over the head, but we need to find a way to incorporate and integrate them. And so confession can become a torture or confusing or a problem. So there are like guides and ideas for how to incorporate each of the sacraments into your journey to healing and to wholeness. Um, so many years later, when I was in my midlife, I wrote Reclaim Regret, which was... Um, my little journey through midlife, and I'm not, I'm 57, so obviously I'm not through. But my first, my first journey, I thought, well, after this stroke, oh, that's it. You know, I don't have to worry about it. I've done my duty. You know, I've had it. I've faced darkness. That's it. I've let go. And, uh, but not, no, no way, you know. <laughs> so I'm here at 47, 48. And my book that I, su I submitted was rejected, and all this stuff was going on. And, um, and I, I just stopped writing for like two years. I couldn't write. I couldn't go forward. And I have to write every day in my book that I do on the internet. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, my gosh. But it was this book came out of this beautiful place on retreat. <clears throat> I was on annual retreat. So we go for eight days. <clears throat> and we um, it's a silent retreat. So on the day one, I decided in the middle of this um, midlife show, I'm, I said, okay, I am going to every morning get out of bed, sit on my chair, and I'm going to take um, an experience or a story from the life of Jesus, and I'm going to enter into it. And I'm going to write it out from the perspective of one of those persons. Mm -hmm. And it was the most healing <laughs> and profound experience in my life. Oh, my gosh. And so the very first one was the woman bent over, doubled over, um, bent over double, excuse me. And, um, and so I just, was, I entered inside of her. I like merged with her. Is that the one that and was so, trying to reach Jesus? Like, no, that's the woman with the hem. Okay. But this, the woman bent over double. She was in the synagogue. So I hear, she's, I have her listening. Everybody's talking above her, around her. They're walking around her. She's no longer part of the community. No one is interested in her. And all of a sudden she hears, because she can't see, because she's looking at her feet, woman, come here. And so I just entered into her whole experience, you know, Jesus putting her hand on my head, mm -hmm. her head, and um, saying, woman, be healed. And what was that like when she stood up for the first time, 
in 18 years. People back then, maybe they lived to 30, 33, 35, half her life. Right. She's been dead double or more. And so like she saw maybe his hands first, you know, his heart, um, his smile, what was on his face, what was in those eyes when she first looked the first eyes that she saw in 18 years, maybe the eyes of God, you know, so what was that like for her? And just seeing those eyes looking at me and um, was just so healing. And the beautiful thing about that, when you look in the scriptures is he was talking to the people around and he didn't say this crippled lady here. <laughs> he said, this daughter of Abraham, you know, he reinstated her into the community and he identified who she was in the deepest part of her existence and said, this daughter of Abraham has been suffering so long and should I not have healed her even on the Sabbath? So the experience of Jesus calling me by my name and who I am, because many times when we're suffering from many, either a physical illness or a situation or a relationship or broken uh, relationships, broken marriages, we feel that these things determine who we are. Mm -hmm. um, they have now, you are the crippled lady. You are now the crippled man for some reason. And, um, but no, Jesus, listen, look into his eyes and say, what is your name for me? What do you call me? So there's, I think there's about 12 of those prayer experiences in here, along with, um, you know, just the stuff of the middling years. I always call them middling years because I think they go for a long time. They do. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of another middling experience right now, so I won't go into the details. But, um, you know, so, but it also goes to a much more um, developed for regret, the regrets that we have, not only for the regrets of things that we've done, but the regrets of how our life has turned out because of things others have done or decisions others have made that we were a part of or had to go along with or whatever they are. I think everybody has regrets mm -hmm. of some sort or another. Yes. And, um, and so it's making, not from the perspective of depression, but looking at, and how is it that we also have tools that help us walk through that experience and allow Jesus to those prayer experiences really to heal us and to mm -hmm. transform us? So um, I don't know. I just have a couple more. Is that okay? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> These are two little ones because I really believe in the power of the word of God. So it's deeper trust and inner peace. And they're short little meditations, just a page. They're called just a minute meditations. And um, because it's one thing, I, I've discovered this, it's when, when things are deep and burdensome, especially early in your life, mm -hmm. you can come out with a um, lamentation mode. <laughs> of of seeing everything you know my lamentation is my language you know and it's like but really when you look at scripture there's a lot of things that go wrong a lot of pain a lot of troubles but it's like um what what happens what is scripture saying where is the joy where is the way that god comes through and rescues you and that's what these meditations are really all about and the last my last little book is if you want a saint who will take care of you on the way <laughs> with all of your problems i believe it's saint joseph i wrote this in 2008 and if you remember 2008 was the housing crisis bubble it was a terrible and i year. think there was oh yeah i think it was that guy who stole all the money from people i forgot his name the scam yes. and um everything was it was a disaster mm -hmm. and so um <clears throat> i wrote this book like in two weeks and and put it out but it's like saint joseph also had disasters you know yes. they had built or whatever they did for babe jesus to be born and had it all ready his little baby room or whatever it was you know, and it's like, oh, now go to Bethlehem. No room in the inn. Oh, go now to Egypt. Yes, and escape. No tools, no tools, no job, no home, no nothing. 
And, um, you know, so he lived through all the uncertainty, the craziness, crossing the desert. That was a really dangerous desert to cross with a woman and a baby right. um, in the dark, <laughs> for heaven's sakes. You know, God sends us many times through those places that seem like impossibly dark. And mm-hmm. St. Joseph has been there. Yes. So he's a great saint to hold on to. Um, he knows how to find houses, to get jobs. <laughs> he knows all the practical stuff that you may not know. Um, but he's also the father. He can be mm-hmm. your father if you lost your father, if you were abused and you don't want to know your father, mm-hmm. or your father left you. You know, he knows how to be your husband. If your husband is has deceased or your husband's left you, he knows how to do the practical stuff. Yes. And he is with you and he is very powerful, almost as powerful as St. Michael. <laughs> They're so powerful. So. <laughs> I, um, I think I'm just so excited we found you. Like, <clears throat> I'm just so excited to dive into these because I think as a loved one, um, I have loved ones that had suffered from bipolar and the and the depression yes. and um, because you said something that was so key, the practicality and the, I don't know, just, I think um, I'm so excited to, to, to dive into those because I think um, mm-hmm. those tangible ways to help them um, is mm-hmm. just so, so important. I think we all, mm-hmm. we all yeah. um, need those. So. Yeah, at the end of each chapter of Surviving Depression, there are tips for family and friends because mm-hmm. we all have people that we know and love. Yes. You know, yes. and we don't know what to say and do right. and how to help them. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's just so yeah. fantastic. And you also said something else in it that you said God's fidelity. Like, he is always there even in those darkest <clears throat> places. And I think turning to him and reminding others, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Just, I thought that was so mm-hmm. beautiful. So thank you. You know, and at the, in Genesis, everything was dark. Yes. It was a void. The Holy Spirit was over the waters. It was dark. And the first thing God says is, let there be light. Beautiful. Let there be light. So God wants to fill every crevice of darkness in your life with light. And Jesus is the light of the world. Let there be light. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think we all needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after COVID and everything else that's going on in the church and the world. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I think you are the light for us this morning thank you wow that's just so so oh you're so sweet i it was a joy i love to to talk about these things but we're so excited i didn't uh, we're gonna listen to your podcast and i can't wait to read your books and um just we're just so so blessed thank you thank you so much for joining us this morning thank you so much for inviting me (laughs) oh that's all caroline mama if i came caroline she's so fantastic another light um so we're just so glad Uh, we were all to able to come together today so thank you yes god bless you all i'll be praying for you today all of you thank you in a very special way (laughs) thanks sister bye everybody bye (laughs) take care bye-bye bye